that's, thank you. I, I, I feel like a lot of that is for the shirt. <laughs> this is a nice shirt. The, uh, the last one I had on literally popped. And so, uh, and if you, you had been here, you would have seen that. It was quite something to behold. Um, that's the thing about doing this show every day, because you never know what's going to happen. I, I had a shirt on moments before the show started, and I came out to talk, and we realized that uh, the shirt popped, as they say. I still don't know what it means, but I'll ask after the show. And um, so I, I, that's every single day. There's something new to experience, and that's why I like the show so much. Did you see the show yesterday, by the way? <laughs> It was a big show. I mean, we have big shows every day. Today's a big show, too, but yesterday was a big show. Yesterday, we had Alice and Janney, and we had an orangutan, and Donnie Wahlberg. And I'll tell you, that Alice and Janney, she'll take it out of you. She really... <laughs> she's, uh, she's something else. I was exhausted by the end of that show. I went home, and I was so tired. And I'm trying to go to sleep, but I'm one of these people that no matter how tired I am, it's hard for me to go to sleep. I lay awake and review the day. Do you ever do that? Where you, I mean, some people just go right to sleep, but I actually go through what, what happened. And I couldn't stop thinking that I came this close to having to be naked on my show. <laughs> if you didn't watch the show, you don't know what I'm talking about. But I made a bet with Alice and Janney, because she loves to play ping pong, and so do I, that uh, if she lost, she'd have to drive home naked which she's done before. And, um, <laughs> and if I lost, she was going to make me host the rest of the show naked. And I was one point away from having to be naked. And I thought, then my mind goes, well, what if I would have had to be naked? I'd have to be naked with the orangutan. And <laughs> you know, Gloria Estefan stopped by to surprise us. Can you imagine if she walks on the set and I'm naked hosting the show? <laughs> Gloria Estefan's going to think it's some, well, she's in Amsterdam or something like that, you know? Because they, I think they can host shows naked in Amsterdam. They can do anything in Amsterdam. I, I think it's mandatory to host shows naked in Amsterdam. <laughs> but then I thought, well, what if also, what if the orangutan uh, would attack me, you know? It, for that matter, what if Donnie Wahlberg attacked me, you know? <laughs> I mean, because he... Now, he's a nice guy, but he's just so close to snapping. You can just see it. it just, uh, I could have made a move that reminded him of New Kids on the Block or something. And, I'm t and the orangutan, it, it, that thing, he, he tried to attack uh, Alice and Janney. She was trying to play ping pong. And little, did you, do you have the clip from yesterday? Look at the orangutan trying to, uh, look, oh, through the paddle. <laughs> throws the paddle. She makes a mistake of throwing it back. There it goes, over the net. Okay. If you lose, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you lose, you gotta drive me home naked. <laughs> so, that's, the point is, it's hard for me to get to sleep at night, you know, because some people don't need sleep. Some people can get by on a little bit of sleep, but I need my 14 hours. If I don't get it, <laughs> I am just a grouch, you know. And then there's all these things you can do now, because I guess a lot of people have sleeping problems, where there's relaxation tapes that you can list to, listen to. There's like, you know, white noise. That's the popular. I don't even know what that is. I think it's Wayne Newton. And, um, <laughs> and then there's like a, a popular one is the ocean. You can listen to the ocean. And then uh, there's the rainforest. That's one of the tapes, which that just depresses me. All I think about is all the rainforests that are being destroyed and the wildlife that we're losing. <laughs> Might as well play a tape of chainsaws going, you know? <laughs> I've tried the eye patch. Um, not the eye patch, the eye pillow. I, I, I tried the patch, and uh, I just felt like a pirate. It just was, um, and the parrot kept me up all night long. <laughs> because they go for the shiny things. I wear that big hoop earring. And um, <laughs> it helps me sleep. So anyway, so, but, and then I'm trying to sleep. And when you're so tired, too, some people can sleep in any position. You see people on planes just like that, just sound asleep. You know, that's, I'm usually curled up to whoever's next to me. I don't care. I'm, I'm laying out. But I have to sleep in a certain position to be able to go to sleep, you know? And then they say that scientists have discovered, like, the way you sleep actually determines something about your personality. If you lay on your back, you're a good listener. That's what they say. If you lay on your stomachs with your arms up, 
It means you're outgoing or, <laughs> or a referee, I think, or the leader of a small country. But um, I usually sleep on my side with a pillow between my knees and, and, and holding another pillow like that. That's how I have to sleep. And uh, last night, I, I don't know, I woke up. I was kind of sideways on the bed. My head was hanging off the bed. And I think that means that I shouldn't have had that fourth banana daiquiri. I think that's <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to start reconstructing the, the jobs that we have here. We all have a lot of fun, but I don't know why nap time goes away at a certain time. Nap time, it, in kindergarten and daycare, there's nap time. And I think we need nap time here. I think that, right? I mean, you know, you think about it, we all need nap. And I'm not going to just bring glamour back to daytime and dancing back to daytime. I'm bringing nap time back to daytime. <laughs> I don't see why not. 